welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with my new video. This video is about British accent. We are just continuing the series which I had started. The first video of mine was based on the schwa sound which is very important in the British accent and today I will teach you another sound which is very very important and I will tell you further that which sound we are going to learn today and I will uh, try to make the lesson very very easy for you so aaj main aapko British accent sikhaungi maine pichli video dali lesson 1 dala jiske andar maine schwa sound sikhayi thi jo ki British accent mein bahut important hai aaj bhi main ek aur sound sikhaungi ye bahut zyada bahut zaruri hai British accent mein and if you want to speak more like british then you have to learn the uh, the sound t it looks very amazing to aaj hum log shuru karte hain ye lesson number 2 hai to hum log start karte hain let's start the video okay so as you can see that we are starting the lesson number 2 and we will learn the sound t today okay ye lesson number 2 hai aur hum log aaj british accent ki sound t ko sikhenge so let's start first we have to learn that how to pronounce the sound t okay first of all this is your language okay this is your language in the mouth and these are your teeth and this okay this these are your teeth your tongue must be at the back ridge of your teeth front teeth and your tip of the tongues your sides of the tongues these sides okay your these sides of the tongue must touch the upper sides of your side teeth do you understand and then you have to block the air block the air into your mouth and then just drop the sound and which will produce the sound t you are blocking the sound first at the back of your mouth at the back of your teeth just at the ridge and top of the your uh, teeth you are blocking that and then you are just putting the pressure and just dropping that sound which produces the t t sound do you understand and now i'm speaking in urdu so that everyone can understand aapne sabse pehle apne daant hai apne aapke front wale upar wale daant hai unke piche aapne zuban ki jo tip hoti hai wo lagani hai phir aapki jo sides hoti hain zuban ki sides wo aapne upar daadon ke saath touch karni hai दोनों साइड्स ठीक है और फिर आपने एक एयर प्रेशर जो है वो बिल्ड करना है एयर प्रेशर जब बिल्ड हो जाएगा तो एकदम से आपने वो जो एयर अंदर प्रेशराइज हुई हुई होगी वो आपने एकदम से बाहर मुंह से निकाल देनी है तो फिर क्या साउंड प्रोड्यूस होगी ओके सो हेयर आर सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स टैलेंट ब्यूटिफुल हीट चॉकलेट टोस्ट फेवरेट it is toaster t o s t a toaster chocolate oh here is another different example this sentence is i'm so happy that i reached my destination in this there is a t at the end of that and uh, where there is a t and after that there is a vowel sound then we have to pronounce that t sound very strongly just like i'm so happy that i that i okay that i reached my destination over here you can see that reach is a long sound and after that there is ed we will not pronounce it just like reached reached it is not like that we will end this sound with the t sound whether there is ed we will end this up with t sound reached reached i'm so happy that i reached my destination understood 
So here it is another one example. I went to the hospital. I went to the hospital. In here you can see that at the end and at the start, these two consecutive words have the t sound in the end, and one is having at the start of it. So here there are two t sounds, but we will merge these two sounds into one t sound. How? I went to. I went to. We will not pronounce it just like I went to. This is not the way, okay? We will merge them and we will pronounce one t sound just like I went to the hospital. Now, we have done what we have done this sentence. I went to the hospital. This is a word that went and a word that to. These are two consecutive words. They are coming from the start and the end of the t sound. So, how many sounds will be? Two sounds will be. Okay, they are coming. They are coming. They are coming. Uh, with each other okay there are just uh, uh, there is sounds are combining with each other so that's why we just combine two t sounds into one so ye do t sounds aa rahe the theek hai aur humne inko ek hi sound mein kar diya t sound mein ek hi humne inko aise nahi padha ke i went to we humne isko aise padha ke i went i went to the hospital so now i think you have uh, understood that where we can and where we can't pronounce the t okay and uh, generally a rule is that that you can uh, pronounce the t in some situations and you can't pronounce it okay there are some situations and uh, if you want more like british then you have to just pronounce them if you are just at the start of the learning the british accent then you have to just pronounce the t's you shouldn't drop them drop them so uh, another uh, situation is that uh, the british native speakers um, often just dropped the t sounds and that is known as the glottal t it is the glottal t and they just uh, drop them they don't pronounce the t sound i'm thinking that uh, i will cover uh, the glottal t in the next video so i'm not making the video so much long and uh, it will be boring let's study some more interesting examples okay now i will give you loads of examples so that you can understand where to use and where to pronounce it strongly and you will get your best british accent so let's start tell the teacher tea and toast today is tuesday tuesday today is tuesday that team is on top that team is on top tim bought two tickets tim bought two tickets here we are merging the two sounds bought two tim bought two tickets so here's some more examples he went to toronto last Saturday and returned yesterday. Tom travels too much. It's true. The supermarket is near the university. Tiff likes potatoes and tomatoes. Tiff likes potatoes and tomatoes. Goma point. You can see here. I'm just dropping my tea over here and over here. Got my point. Goma point. It is known as the glottal T, and we will learn it in the next video. So stay tuned. Bye bye.